What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and another Blender in the tutorial. This is the first part of two episode study light tutorial which we're gonna create this decent stylized study light in Blender. On the first part we're gonna model the light and give it the modifiers and on the second and last episode we're gonna continue our process with the camera setting, giving some lights and also adding the sticky note and the stickers on the light itself. So let's go and give it a shot. One of the pictures that you'll need during this process is this reference image for the light which I found it from pictures.com. We're gonna model our light based on this image that we're gonna use it in the first episode. So for the second episode we're gonna need some you know textures which I found them from pixabay.com this cactus image and also the second cactus and I, I downloaded them and just gave them some white background to give them some sticker kind of looks like and also the last one which i created in photoshop is just a simple image for the sticking out on the light the links are in the description you can just download them freely and go along with the tutorial so now let's jump to the blender and get started okay first of all just press a and x delete everything just the usual stuff that we do in every tutorial and for the reference image let's drag your mouse here at the bottom on the right part and just drag it up to there let's just make it a little bit wider this part so I'm gonna change this part to a image editor and you know see it's changed and let's go to our you know reference image and just drag it and bring it to the blender and leave it here and it will be our reference for all of the process so let's get it started the first thing that I'm gonna create is the bottom part is this part it is a you know cylinder so press shift a and on the mesh part we're gonna add a cylinder and from this menu you can just click on that to open up the menu and the verticals are 30 so it's a little bit you know a lot for our project we're gonna reduce it to about maybe 16 and press n to go to the you know item properties to transform mm, information the location rotation and the scale and also dimensions so it if you look at the dimensions it's two meter by two meter but by two meter it's you know too big and it's almost more than a human being size so we're going to create a small stylized study light and it's so big for that kind of you know object so i'm going to just decrease that to a real size I'm gonna start with the Z maybe we're gonna go on with 0.1 to be a 10 centimeters or maybe yeah, point 0.1 is good the height should be alongside almost 10 centimeters and about the X and Y I'm gonna go on with maybe 0.5 and something like this so if you see it's much smaller than that but it's in the real size of it so when you're changing the dimensions be careful that you also changing the scale as well if you look at here the scale has been changed so in that case some of the you know adding maybe loop cuts if you do some bevels on the shape or if you add some modifiers some of the modifiers won't work properly for you and i've heard lots of problems from the you know subscribers that why i do this it doesn't work why i do this it doesn't work all of them most mostly not all of them mostly is because of the scale that is not correct so hold ctrl and a and the apply menu will open up to you and just select the scale and the moment you select the scale you see that all of the scale you know info has changed to one 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 so press 3 to go to side or to graphic view and let's zoom in in our model a little bit and you see the bottom part is a little bit smaller the higher part is bigger and we're gonna create that shape press tab to go to edit mode and alt z to x-ray selection mode just select the bottom bases and scale them in just slightly a little bit and also about the higher one i think we can just scale them as well a little bit and that's good so it has also a slight loca location and rotation so press r while you're in the side or the graphic view and rotate that 
just about there maybe that's good and we're gonna create that shape as well it's so simple let's press ctrl b to bevel and one segment is enough i think let's just bevel that up to there that's good so this is our the base model here so i'm gonna create the second one that is the light holder or, or whatever you call it i don't know the english so shift a and bring a cylinder another cylinder and this time we're we don't need to change it from dimensions because we need we knew the scale now we know how small or how big it should be so if you look at the reference it's opening a little bit you know bigger than this one but uh, when it's go higher it's getting smaller and smaller so we're going to create that shape as well so press 3 to go to side or to graphic view and just scale it i scaled it you know more than enough so bring it higher around maybe there and i'm gonna con press ctrl a and just apply the scale and go to the edit mode by tab and i'm gonna add some loop cuts here and there to maintain the shape but first of them first of all i'm gonna just create the you know <clears throat> whole shape the first one here at the end and the for the second one the bottom i'm gonna just scale it down a little bit around there and let's just with these ones selected this loop cut press e to extrude this up to there press 3 again to stay in the you know side of the graphic view that is good so press shift alt to select these two of them together and press g and z bring it lower a little bit i think that is good so let's press ctrl r and add a loop cut in the middle of this part and scale it higher just about there and also let's just select this and scale it all the way up to there and hold alt and select this loop cut and scale it i think that is okay so press ctrl b and with your middle mouse button scrolling your middle mouse button you can control the segments of your bell that how many bell you need how many segments you need i think it would be good but i might need to first scale it a little bit even more then after that do the scale yeah, i think in that case we'll have a better result that's good so we can also just select at the end the last edges and scale them just a little bit just like that and if you look at here it has also a curvy shape not it is not just straight and we have to create that shape here as well so it's so simple select that with holding alt and selecting it so press ctrl b to bevel and by beveling you're just smoothing down just like this you're changing this shape to this shape and i think that will work for us that's good so the three to go to face selection mode or we can just select it from here select this face and press i to insert it and i think this thickness will gonna work for us press three again or one to go front or side of graphic view because we're gonna scale it uh, extrude it inside and we're gonna need up to the up to where and which point we're gonna extrude that and press alt z to go to the x-ray selection mode to see through the shape and press e so scale it up to here extrude it up to here scale it down and again do the same process it's not you know a hard thing to do so hold alt c again to come to the solid view and just inset this face one more time and one more time because we're gonna add some you know subdivision modifier later for that reason we need some supportable cuts here and there so this is done 
this part for the higher part we can just go along with another shape another you know object but also you can just go along with this shape itself there's no difference but i'm gonna continue modeling this shape and i'm gonna creating uh, with this shape so press i to inset mm, the last face here and i think that is okay this size press e to extrude that about there and press s to scale it down i think that would be good and for the last part here it's much smaller than the previous part so press i again do the same process it's not you know something new press e to extrude that and at the end just scale it down so press 3 to see it properly from the side orthographic view press g and z bring it lower a little bit and just scale it higher just a little bit so this is our light shape but you know in the reference it is a little bit in the back side of that so we can do the same thing here the last part is selected the last face press ctrl and plus and numpad so it will expa expand your selection so press g and y and bring it lower to the back sides a little bit just like that that is good so if you see our pivot point or origin point is in the middle of the shape so when we are gonna rotate our shape it will be rotating through that point but i want i want this shape to be rotating from the you know this part just this part because rotating it would be you know accurate more accurate and clear for us so if you're moving your shape on the object mode the origin also will be moving the way to move your origin point to another to a specific point is just to going to edit mode by pressing tab and press a to select everything and now if you move your object you see that the our origin point is just the you know still and not moving at all so in that case we can just move our shape to the where we want so press g and z and bring it lower up to there and we can just move it a little bit maybe up to here so press tab again and bring it higher in the object mode and now if we just rotate that you see that it's rotating mm, alongside that mm, origin so press r and rotate that a little bit just give it a slight rotation just like that it shouldn't be that high and extreme i like it so the other thing that i want to create is this one this bottom also maybe we need to you know scale it a little bit and bring it a little bit higher so press shift a and bring a another cylinder and scale it down 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 so press one this time and bring it here scale it down up to this point and press ctrl a then scale to apply the scale and press tab to go to edit mode and alt z to enable the x-ray selection mode and select the last the bottom faces face and scale it down and select the higher one scale it up just like that and maybe we need to scale it a little bit more higher and for this effect just we have to press ctrl b to bevel it and with your control the middle mouse button just decrease the amount to one and i think this sh this should work for us yeah it is good but press 3 again to go to the side of graphic view and let's go to the vertex selection mode and also press alt z again so select these bottom vertices and bring them and scale them just a little bit and select the higher ones and this time we're gonna rotate them press r and rotate them a little bit or maybe we can just rotate them like that on the opposite direction so press tab again and press g bring it to the right position i think that will be good okay so the next thing i'm, I'm gonna create is this one these ones here so press sh shift a and bring a 
cylinder and scale it down and press G and Z to bring it higher press 1 this time to go to the front of the graphic view and with G bring it to the right part and scale it down so press S and Y to scale it just on the Z direction S and Y again up to that point and bring it all the way backwards up to there so or maybe a little bit to the front and press S now press shift Z to exclude the axis from our scale I'm gonna just scale it just on the X and Y direction so this will be good press 1 again to see it from the front of the graphic view and bring it close to the center of the world so I'm gonna add a mirror modifier for this one to apply the same thing on the next side so come to the modifiers and add modifier and type for mirror and so it is not working for us because it is working through the origin point and its origin point is in the middle of the shape and it's mirroring exactly to the second you know part of the shape so we're gonna use another object for that so press just so just come to select the eyedropper tool and select one of these shapes this one i'm going to select this one so it's gonna mirroring our object based on the you know this object if you move this the the mirrored object also will be moving with that object as well so select this one again and make it a little bit closer bring that closer to each other just a little bit and i think that is good so let's select this object and bring it a little bit to the front and this one this is good so press 3 and tap to go to edit mode and hold alt c to enable the x-ray selection mode and let's bring a loop cut with ctrl r and bring it a little bit lower just a bit and select these ones and bring them backwards and rotate them just a little bit and that's it so select this one again and this time we're gonna hold ctrl b to bevel it but it is not working well it is beveling more on the bottom and it's beveling so less on the height what is the reason you're correct the scale so it is the scale amounts aren't the you know perfect they aren't one 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 they are you know they we have because we have scaled them on the object mode it's been changed so we're gonna press ctrl a again and this time apply the scale and if you go to you know transform info you see that the scale all of them is one so press tab again to go to edit mode and this time we're gonna just con uh, hold ctrl b and you see that it's working properly and well so I'm gonna increase the amount to three or two that will do for us or maybe we can just make it a little bit like this it should be a little bit harder in the edge okay so press three again to go to side or graphic view and tab to go to edit mode select these vertices and with x with e we're gonna extrude them and create this kind of shape here to go inside of the shape so press E and just rotate them. It's not a crazy thing to do. Just press E R to rotate that. E R and E R. Just that. Also, we can just fix the sh some of them, you know, to make them a little bit better, maybe. Okay, that's good. And the last one for the this part that we need the last shape is the this holder here so it's so easy just press shift a and bring a cylinder scale it down 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 and bring it higher press one to see it from the front of the graphic view just scale it down up to where you're up to the point that you're satisfied with the shape and press s and x to scale it s and z to scale it on the z axis around there and press 3 to see it from the side of the graphic view as well and bring it to the right part and s y 
to scale it on the y direction and there you go so scale it on the z a little even a little bit more and press tab to go to edit mode and select uh, let's go to the edge selection mode and select this edge and also this edge and press s then e to scale s and x to scale them on the x direction just a little bit slightly and i think that is good now so we can also scale it up just a little bit and press ctrl a and scale to apply the scale and in that case it will change to 111 okay and the last thing not last thing after that we will need to add another one so is the this is this wire to add the wire to all of the shape so the we're gonna add the wire with using the curve so press shift a and add a curve the busier curve and bring it higher up to there and press tab to go to edit mode and let me see it on the uh, top orthographic view just press 7 to see it from the top orthographic view moving move it up to the exact you know in the middle of this part and i'm gonna rotate that and where is the other one bring it to the right part as well just rotate that and scale it down because they are so big also this one is scale it down we don't need that you know scale for these ones okay so press 3 to see it from the side of the graphic view bring it higher and now just rotate the the points these aren't these aren't vertices you know these are points so bring it to the right part and now we're gonna just you know extrude that this shape and create the shape up to here that it will go along this shape okay so we're gonna just extrude that there's two ways you can just press e and move it to wherever you want and after that rotate that or you can just hold control and uh, right click where you want to you know extrude that so I'm, i control i hold control and right click here in that case it will automatically extrude that up to that point so but i'm gonna go on with the you know e version just press e and rotating and again e rotate let's see it from our reference and for here e and r i think that is good so for the last part we're gonna need it we'll need to see it from the top of the graphic we press 7 and just bring it a little bit to the right part also this one as well and rotate that on the you know from top of the graphic view as well so with this one press e again and rotate it bring it here don't worry about this shape we're gonna fix that later and press e and rotate that up to this point so it is our main shape and we're, we're gonna need to change the some of the rotations and locations a little bit like that you know it's a little bit it's kind of too big so maybe we don't need this point so hold control and x to delete that in that case it would be much you know better okay i think that we're gonna work for us and maybe we can just bring it a little bit to the inside of the shape so but here also i don't like the shape here press three again so maybe let's try control x and Yeah, I think without without that point it would be more you know smoother maybe I'm not sure I'm gonna try and find out or maybe we're gonna need another one here no it's not good so select 
this one and this point, two of them with holding shift and right click then subdivide. So we're gonna subdivide that and make it smoother just like this. Okay. That's it. And this part as well. Okay. So because it's curved, you'll see an, another you know part here, the data for curve. Just select it and come down all the way up to geometry and here on the geometry we have a bevel. You're gonna increase the depth to create the line to create to give it some you know thickness and there we go it's our line here so the last one that we're going to create is our light so it's so simple just press shift a and bring the you know where is it uv sphere and 32 32 is a lot for this we're going to decrease that to 16 and 12 so press 3 to see it from side of the graphic view just scale it down and bring it here scale it up a bit and rotate that bring it higher just scale it down and there we go so this would be our you know glassy material that inside of that i'm gonna put a point light in the next video so because it we won't see the shape from the you know inside of it there's no need to attach you know details and different stuff for that it's just you know the simple the sphere for our model so the modeling process is done and now we're going to create we're going to add some modifiers so right click shade is smooth we're going to do the same thing for all of the shapes here so press a and right click shade is smooth and for these ones we're gonna add some you know subdivision modifier for adding subdivision you'll need to press ctrl 2 it's just a hot key for that it will add just two levels of uh, subdivision if you press ctrl 1 it will add one level of subdivision or you can just bring it uh, the modifier from here just press click on add modifier and search for subdivision and it's here the subserve no, not subserve to form absolutely subdivision modifier okay so i'm gonna add the two levels of subdivision modifier but we'll need to add some you know supportable cuts so press tab to go to edit mode and for the parts that are, we need it we need them to be hard in edges we're gonna add some loop cuts here and there the first one is here the second here and also inside of it and let's look at the reference so this part also needs some sharpness in the edge and also this part i'm not gonna make them you know too sharp i want to have a little bit you know you see this effect of softness in the model i just like that effect i don't want to be you know too sharp in the edges so Let's add one here and for the last one, let's just select the face selection mode, select the last face and press I to insert the face and bring it up to there. So this is done and let's go on with this. For this one, maybe we need to just add one level. Let's try control one. I think one will work for us. So for this one, I'm going to add control one but control one isn't you know looks very really good for this so let's add let's change it to two increase the level levels of viewport and press tab to go to edit mode and alt c select this face and press x faces we don't need that faces in that case it will also fix our you know shape here and I'm looking now I just forgot to add this part it's so simple so let's add it now so press tab again press ctrl R to add a loop cut and bring the loop cut up to maybe that point and press 3 and hold alt and select this loop cut here 
So press Alt E and select the extrude faces along normals. And in that case, we're going to extrude them maybe up to there. Don't panic of the shape because it needs some support of the cuts. Hold Ctrl R again and bring another, you know, loop cut here and bring another one here another one here so there we go i just forgot to add these ones so for this one we're gonna need to add a some bevel modifier and let's decrease increase the segments to two maybe and decrease the amount up to maybe that point but it has some weird shapes it's because of the angle we're gonna increase the angle up to the point that they are going to disappear like that and maybe we need to add just one level of subdivision or two levels yeah two levels will be good because i want it to be smooth and good in shape and about this one i'm gonna add two levels of subdivision again but we're gonna need some support because with control r let's add some loop cuts here and there so one here the other one should be here because i want to you know this shape should be seen so press 3 to face selection mode press i to insert this face up to there that's okay so for this one as well i'm gonna add Mm, subdivision let's type this one subdivision surface modifier and let's increase it to 2 and select this face just press I to insert the face and let's add a supportable cut here and another one here okay a bit to the, to the light maybe we're gonna need to add one level of subdivision so the modeling is done i hope it would be useful for you on the last on the next episode we're gonna create uh, the sticky notes here and here and also we're gonna give it the material and we're gonna set the camera and also give it some lights and try to for the, for the next video i'm gonna give you a challenge just try to make them yourself go along with your knowledge and uh, the, the things that you knew about it and up to the next video just practice on that and in the next video we're gonna do it together so i hope it would be useful see you in the next video